everybody and welcome to part three, the three-quarter trucker portrait. And this is me again, my face took a picture and in last week's tutorial I was having a, a quite neut neutral look and in this one I'm having a little bit of a smile. And you can also see I took uh, also uh, some time to uh, map out uh, where the shadows are going. So that's very interesting too. And um, well, it's a three quarter. Uh, I measured it out. Uh, this is uh, the left side of my face was 2.8 centimeters and the right side was 3.8, so about 3, 4. And here you can see the Riley lines. And I've drawn them in tune, of course. And what you can see actually is that the Riley lines that indicate the muscle that are uh, covering the skull, um, well, how they act and react, and in this case, I'm uh, putting up a little bit of a smile, and you can uh, actually start to see the shadows also appearing. Now, as you can see, the left side of my face is. Uh, a lot smaller than the right side not quite extreme but it is a three-quarter and what you want to do first is to put in uh, the plumb line which is in a little bit of an angle so I'm not looking uh, straight my head is tilted a little bit and then I draw in an uh, ellipse kind of an ellipse so not quite a circle and then I flatten this down so I put in the lines for the side of my face and that middle line I divide in three equal parts and the lower part I also divide into three parts and then I clean it up and then I actually already have a little bit of the shape of my head as I want to start drawing that in and I also want to indicate uh, how the eye sockets are placed in this uh, bob, which is going to become my head. And the nose bridge, which is slightly to the left, of course. And you can see actually the nose entrances that the left side is a little bit smaller than the right side, of course, because uh, my face is... Um, well, angled a little bit to the left. So, I'm putting in the little helper lines as we have viewed in last week's tutorial. And also what you can notice is that the left ear is not to be seen. You can just see a little bit of the earlobe while the right ear, uh, well, you get a quite good view at that. Then I also want to indicate the width of the mouth so that's very important and when you draw in plumb lines going upwards then you would actually know a little bit where the irises are going to be i put in the upper lip and the lower lip is quite small in my case the chin is uh, quite big so i put in those ellipses of course in according to the riley method now the eyes are also uh, in some kind of a little bit of an angle so I draw that in too and all, oh well <laughs> that's my cat Mercy hello Mercy uh, I put in the big bone which is the forehead and that is always uh, working together with the eye sockets and well the plane of the uh, nose of course so that's also uh, important and what I want to do then is look at the contour line of the left side of my face. Now some people have uh, rounded faces, some people have long small faces. So that can be very indicated for um, well, when you want to get a little bit of likeness in a portrait. Uh, here I can see the jawline and then uh, that is going in front of that right ear that I can see. 
and I also place in uh, the neck and a little bit of uh, the jacket that I am wearing a very old nice jacket in which I'm always drawing and here can you, you can just see the t-shirt but I always think it's nice to have a, a hat sitting on something so that it's not floating in the air of course and um, well, this whole drawing also can be viewed on my Patreon page, of course, in real time. If you're really into studying the portraits or other kinds of drawing, there are hundreds on them. Um, the right side of my face is uh, smiling a little bit more than the left side. So I'm putting in those Riley lines to get a good view of how my face is behaving in this case and you can see that um, this uh, right cheek is uh, lifted up a little bit more I'm having a bit of uh, a frow uh, also my uh, left eyebrow is a little bit higher so I'm kind of well, moving my face around if you want now that I have the face in place I can put in uh, the hair and I only want to indicate uh, how it's moving around my head. So that's all I put in. Uh, only the big shapes. Uh, I can see a little uh, flock of hair going uh, in front of my forehead. But furthermore, I'm not very concerned. I'm just indicating how it's uh, moving around my head. And it makes your drawing always a little bit more playful once you start to uh, put in the hair. And also the way that people um, carry their hair can be very um, well uh, typical for the person itself. Like my hair is always messy, so I'm drawing it in messy. <laughs> Here then are the eye sockets, of course, and um, I'm putting in the uh, little lines and the way that uh, the upper curves are going. And the irises are going a little bit to the right. So the curve of the uh, upper eyelid also curves a little bit over that iris. And then I simply draw in uh, the lower eyelid, which you can always uh, see the inside. So you can see the thickness of um, the lower eyelid. And I also try to draw in the flesh, the way that it's laying on top of my uh, upper eyelids. And I indicate where the pupils go. And where you put the pupils also... Uh, uh, are very uh, decisive about uh, what way uh, the model is looking so in this case I am looking to the right side so the pupils are placed also a little bit on the right side so that is uh, well helping to get a convinc convincing uh, way and direction of where I'm looking at then I can simply put in the eyebrows, of course. And as I told, uh, the left eyebrow is pulled up a little bit more than the uh, right eyebrow. So I try to position those in the correct angle too. I'm starting to get a little bit of likeness and uh, well, that's quite okay. Um, it's not very important in the beginning to uh, only strive for likeness uh, just make it a sketch and um, well don't get too much attached to it just sketch and uh, then you can simply well, start to look for the shadows of course I've taken the picture where I've indicated how the shadows are going and once you place in the shadows, those Riley lines are really uh, helpful, 
really really helpful also to get a little bit of likeness and get some feel of 3d going on but I'm keeping it as simple as possible just uh, in a mid gray area with not too much rendering whatsoever uh, here I can see my big chin so I put that out too a little bit and the shadow cast by my head on the neck and the jacket so that's quite great too and then I have those little wrinkles around my eyes of course so I put those in too not too much of course <laughs> well we all have wrinkles so just do that put them in um, well this is uh, the side of my cheek and how the wrinkling is around uh, my mouth of course and for the hairs I do not do too much I do put in a tone for the lips themselves because the lips of course are always darker than the face itself because of all the blood going into your uh, lips then I put in a little bit of detail into the eyes because I'm always wearing uh, makeup, dark makeup. So um, when I see that is very dark, I simply draw that in very dark because it is typical for Lineke to have uh, makeup on. So I draw in the makeup to get some kind of likeness, of course. And then of course you can always get rid of the little helper lines and uh, put in just some shades of grey uh, but I'm not trying to put in too much detail that I will preserve for later on first I just want to get things in place and as I'm looking at it now I'm thinking well the right eye could be a little bit lower but I will just leave it up to this and just make another drawing and when I make another drawing I would place the right eye a little bit lower I think I'm happy with the nose happy with the mouth happy with the hair it's all okay um, well it's just a study and I'll simply make one more two more three more and then I watch what I could improve and just keep going there that's the best way to study I think well thank you for watching I wish you all the best and all the luck with your studies of course maybe I will see you on my patreon page for uh, the pure time tutorials but uh, simply also of course next Friday take care bye bye